Some premature babies spend weeks or months in a neonatal intensive care unit, often due to their lungs not being fully developed. At Valley Presbyterian Hospital, we spoke to Dr. Nusheen Zaman, who discusses the pulmonary challenges that these babies face. We can actually have babies that are where moms have been pregnant for only six months, so that's considered about 24 weeks of gestation. Now these babies, as you can imagine, have pretty underdeveloped lungs, and that's definitely part of the problem. The other part of the problem is the lungs actually make a thing called surfactant, and this surfactant helps coat the lungs and reduces the surface tension so you can blow it up. If you can imagine blowing up a balloon, you know, initially when you blow it up, it's very difficult. It's the same thing for babies. When they open up their lungs, it can be very difficult. Um, and if they don't have enough surfactant, this baby's develop was called respiratory distress syndrome. There have been major improvements in neonatology to help these newborns. Babies used to have almost 100% mortality rate back in the 19. 60s, 1970s, if they had severe respiratory distress syndrome. But there was actually an amazing invention that was uh, created back in the late 1980s and was approved by FDA in the early 1990s, where they invented surfactant that we could actually give to the babies. So now we can actually intubate the baby and give the surfactant straight into the lungs, and this has improved their outcomes significantly. Babies that didn't use to survive before can actually survive and do very well. Medications given to the mothers-to-be also resulted in better outcomes. It has been shown if the moms, when they're pregnant prior to delivery, if they actually get the steroid shot, um, usually betamethasone or dexamethasone, it helps stimulate the baby to make some of the surfactant on their own. So a lot of those babies, if they if the moms have had the shots before they're born, those babies tend to do better as well. Dr. Zaman tells us about the specialized treatments for other serious respiratory problems these babies may have. Babies have meconium, which is stool, okay? And it's thick and gooey and goopy, and that's usually the first stool that babies have. The problem is sometimes when babies are term or they're being born a little bit later, they start stooling inside into the amniotic fluid. But if they're born and they actually inhale some of this amniotic fluid, they can actually become very sick. Some of the babies develop a thing called persistent pulmonary hypertension. And what that is, the blood that goes to, from the heart to the lungs to get oxygen, those blood vessels end up becoming constricted and not enough blood goes to the lungs to get oxygen to go to the rest of the body. And there's definitely interventions that, have, that we have that we can um, improve this. And one of those things is called nitric oxide that actually helps dilate the vessel so more of the blood can go to the lungs, get oxygen, and go to the body. Now, some of these babies, they do become sick enough where they actually have to be placed on um, cardiopulmonary bypass, and it's called extracorporeal membrane oxygenator, or ECMO. These we only have in tertiary centers. Um, but up until that, uh, we can actually manage a lot of these babies who can become pretty sick. 